Well, this is what it looks like on the outside of the house. One of the themes here is lots and lots of extension cords. And this is a wireless controller sitting here in a box, entirely full of extension cords. Have a big chain and lock to make sure no one steals the thing. Lots of extension cords on the outside of the house. Well, next year we'll have to use some white extension cords and clean these up. This is the main controller. It has 32 channels on board. Uh, each one of the outlets in the side is a separate channel and all these extension cords have to run out through the side of the house. Have a LED bar graph in the front here to show which light channels are active. You can open the case here to show you what's inside. That's the main controller with another rabbit microcontroller that does all of the work. And down here are 32 solid state relays. Uh, each one controls one string of lights. These circuit boards are all wire wrapped by hand. This is a wireless controller card I made. It controls 16 strings of lights wirelessly and would sit in a box out in the front yard. It uses a rabbit microcontroller to run the run things and a wireless RS-232 receiver. The wireless controller here that transmits commands out to the wireless receivers that sit out in the yard. So this can, can send commands to a number of different receiver modules. There's a PC but all it does is play the music. It doesn't actually run any of the lights. There's a FM stereo transmitter so people can sit in their cars and listen to the music that's synchronized to the lights. One of the issues is how much power this draws. We use modern LED lights and we have a watt meter on here showing how much power we're using. Right now we're only drawing about 32 watts for the light show. That's all. Less than one old-fashioned light bulb. The choreography is done entirely by hand along with some custom C programs I wrote.